Cranberry juice is a natural diuretic that contains aspirin, zinc, niacin, and pectin, all of which are possible remedies for passing a drug test. So the question is, do these components make cranberry juice a reliable agent to detox you from weed and other drugs? Well, let's look into it in more detail in this video. Cranberry juice contains salicylic acid, known more commonly as aspirin. Lab results by the Journal of Analytical Toxicology show that ingesting aspirin before a drug test can potentially yield negative results. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about two legal and reliable solutions to pass a drug test. Both solutions are equally effective, but each works over a different time frame. The Fast Marijuana Detox Kit starts working in just 90 minutes and stays effective for up to 5 hours. It's a reliable, same-day solution that's been proven to work by thousands of happy customers. The Premium 7-Day Detox Kit will naturally detox your body in just 7 days. After this, you'll be clean forever. To get either of these kits, just follow the links in the description. So, salicylic acid content in cranberry juice might help you to pass a drug test. However, there are a few gray areas that could make it unreliable. Firstly, the amount of cranberry juice needed to meet the required amount of salicylic acid isn't yet clear. When using aspirin to create a false negative in a drug test, it's recommended to take about 1300 milligrams before the test. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any research done to prove how much salicylic acid is present in a given amount of cranberry juice. And you need to be aware that while aspirin might cause a false negative, it's not always a guarantee. Cranberry juice contains zinc. A study on the effects of zinc in the detection of THC has confirmed that zinc can be effective in thwarting a drug test. But zinc can only interfere with results only if it's added directly to the urine. The newest research suggests that zinc actually has zero effect on drug test results when ingested. Also, research from 2013 states that new spot tests have been developed to detect the presence of zinc in urine. Cranberry juice contains niacin. Some people believe that niacin promotes the breakdown of fat, but this isn't strictly true. Niacin is involved in the catabolism of dietary fat. But it doesn't speed up your basal metabolic rate and doesn't increase the catabolism of body fat. Also, another challenge that arises with the use of niacin is working out the amount required. A typical regimen for this technique requires the ingestion of between 500 mg and 2,000 mg of niacin. Unfortunately, cranberry juice has a negligible amount of niacin. Somewhere around 10 mg of niacin in every 100 grams of juice. So, imagine the amount of juice you'd need to drink to obtain the minimum dosage of 500 milligrams. Cranberry juice can help with natural detoxification. THC metabolites are stored in the body fat. This means that you'll need to burn the fat stores to clean from your system for the drug test. In a popular study, researchers from the Canadian Cardiovascular Congress asked participants to include a glass of low-calorie cranberry juice with all their meals. And the results showed a notable decrease in both BMI and body weight. However, the researchers hesitated to attribute this weight loss directly to the cranberry juice, mainly because the weight loss could also be linked to the replacement of other drinks, perhaps ones with higher calorie counts. So, there isn't any scientific evidence that proves that cranberry juice can help with fat loss in any way. In its natural form, cranberry juice is a low-sugar juice that most find unpalatable due to its bitter taste. What the market actually has is a small portion of real cranberry juice topped up with high amounts of sugar. Naturally, this might end up adding more calories to your system rather than burning it off. Cranberry juice works as a diuretic. A diuretic increases the amount of salt, water, and toxins that are flushed out of your system. As a diuretic, cranberry juice works in the same manner as water, coffee, or tea. 
it minimizes the concentration of the metabolites in the urine thereby taking the levels of metabolites below the cutoff level this is called dilution method dilution is one of the most popular methods of cheating a drug test but you need to do it in moderation taking an obscene amount of liquid not only dilutes the metabolites in the urine but it also alters several vitals of the urine this includes creatinine levels specific gravity and color and problems with these vitals could alert the lab technician making you a candidate for a repeat specimen so in conclusion it's true that cranberry juice can help you pass a drug test but it does so only as a dilution method if you need a reliable and legal method to pass a drug test follow the link in the description and check the detox kits if you missed anything or have any questions please leave a comment and let us know hit the like button if you found this video helpful if you want to learn more about passing a drug test subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one